My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have, we have been solving math problems out of this book here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems having to do with conversions from fractions to decimals. From fractions to decimals, we'll start today the sample problems that you'll see on page number 24. Please turn to it. Page number 24, the sample problems. Page 24, the sample problems. Let's take a look at them. There are 10 of them. After having finished after having finished these 10 sample problems, if you feel that you need more practice, which in my opinion you do, 10 problems is not enough, especially when these problems are so easy. Uh, you need a little bit more practice, a little bit more challenging problems so, so that you're able to understand the concept properly and are able to tackle any kind of anything that is thrown at you during the exam. Uh, there are three concepts basically that you have to juggle. The decimals, the fractions and the percentages and you have to be able to go back and forth between one to the other from fractions to decimals, decimal to fractions, decimal to percentages and so on and so forth. All of those concepts that we just talked about, all three of the scenarios there are going back and forth. If you need more practice, if you need to want, if you want, if you wish to do more problems, here are the videos that you will find, you may find useful. Uh, basic math series, basic math from day number 51 to 65. From day, day number 51 to 65, as you can see, there are 15 of them. You don't want to watch all 15 of them. Watch one or two in the beginning, one, two or three in the beginning, and decide for yourself whether it's worth your time or not. Do you understand? Which is why I edited my sentence a little while ago, a second ago, I said, which you will find helpful, and then I edited, which you may find helpful. It's your call. Watch one or two and decide. Let's, let's get going. Number one. Number one. Number one, they're asking us to convert one-fifth, one-fifth into decimal. We learn our fifth on day number 31, basic math, day 31. One-fifth is simply take the, take the one-fifth, divide top and bottom by two, so that we convert it into a tenth, because tenth is very easy to deal with. One-fifth is same as one times two is two, and five times two is ten. One fifth is same as two tenths because if you reduce two tenths, you get one fifth. And two tenths, we can immediately see, is same as point two. Point two, or if you if they want it in percentages, would have been twenty percent. One fifth is twenty percent. Therefore, two fifth will be forty percent. Three fifth will be sixty percent. Four fifth will be eighty percent, and so on and so forth. Well, oh, that's the next one. What the hell? This is this is too simple. The next problem we have is two, two fifth. We don't have to do anything. If one fifth is twenty percent, two fifth will have to be twice as much. It's forty percent. Let's do it out anyway. Divide, multiply top and bottom. Multiply top and bottom by two. We end up with four over ten, which is same as 0.4 or forty percent. Let's do the next one, number three. Three eighth. Now ah, three eighth is a tricky one. Three eighth is a tricky one. You have to know. You have to know your eighths. You have to know your eighths. And we learned our eighths. On day number 32. Day number 32. Eighth is, eighth is what people have trouble with, be, being able to figure out how to represent a given amount of eighths into decimals and percentages. One eighth, two eighth, three eighths, and so on and so forth. Here we have three eighths. What we need to understand is that 3 8 is nothing more than 3 8 is nothing more than 2 8 plus an eighth. You with me? Are you able to see that 2 8? Are you able to see that 2 8 if you were to reduce it, if you were to divide top and bottom by 2, here's your 2 8. If you were to divide top and bottom by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided 8 divided by 2 is 4. If you reduce it, 2 8 is just a quarter. In quarter we know a quarter of anything is just 25%. Therefore, 2 8, 2 8 here is simply 25% or 0.25. Okay, are you with me so far? Now, if, if 2 8, if 2 8 is 25%, if 2 8 is 25%, then 1 8 would have to be half of that. Or if you like, we can, we can show you in a little bit different way. We know, we know that 1 quarter is 25%. Would you agree to it? 1 quarter is 25%. Well, if one quarter is 25%, if we take half of that, half of one quarter, one times one is one, and two times four is eight, 
half of one quarter is one eighth. One eighth. So if you take half of this amount, if you multiply this side by half, you must multiply that side by half. So the question is, what is half of 25? We know half of 24. We know half of 24 is exactly 12. If half of 24 is 12, then it stands to reason that half of 25 must be 12 and a half. Or 0.125. So this is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and this is 0.125. We need to add the two figures and we'll have our answer. Where can we add them? I left no room to add them. Let's do them up here. Let's add them up here. So 2 eighths is 0.25 and 8 is 0.125. The reason I wanted to go up here is to make you understand that you must always keep track of your decimals. This one has three digits, this one only has two digits, so we have to take a zero to hold the hold the decimal place so that we don't muck it up. Five, five plus two is seven, three plus two plus one is three. There, there's two eight plus an eight, and that will be three eight. Three eight equals 0.375. 38 equals 0.375. What do you know? I don't know why I had the urge to emphasize this so much. Let's go to number four. So that was number three. Number four is asking for the four fifth. Well, we just talked about it. Fifths are very easy. Four fifth, that's number four. Fifths are very easy. Just take the amount and multiply top and bottom by two. If you multiply top and bottom by two, what you find is that what you find is that four fifths is nothing but four fifths is nothing but eight tenth incognito. Four fifths is nothing but eight tenth incognito. Just give me one second here. I know we learned the word incognito a long time ago in our vocabulary lessons. On day number forty-two, it turns out vocabulary day forty-two. Incognito in disguise. Four fifth is just a tenth in disguise. Incognito. Just type in vocabulary words day 42 and learn. Uh, you will see the video there where we learned the word incognito in our vocabulary lessons. So that's it. Eight tenth, which is very simple, which is simply 0.8 or 80% if you will. Number five. Number five is a third. A third, you simply have to know that equals a third equals 33 and a third percent. That's the precise figure. 33 and a third percent. That's a precise answer. Or you can write that as 33.33, repeating as a percentage. Or you can write that as 0.333, repeating. And since they're asking for, they're asking us to convert these fractions into a decimal. One third converted into decimal is 0.33, repeating. Let's do number six. Number six is one and a half. One and a half. This is too silly, too simple. One is just one and half we know is 0.5. Half of something is 0.5. One and a half is just 1.5. Let's do number seven. Number seven is asking us to convert three tenths. Oh, this is too. 3 tenth is just 0.3. What did they expect us to do? If you want it in percentage, we, this per, in percentage is 30 percent. Number 8, 9, and 10 are a bit complicated. I'm going to do them in separate video because otherwise it will become too long. I'll see you tomorrow where we'll do number 8, 9, and 10. Alright? Bye now.